So the new has worn off and the honeymoon is over with the Gazelle portable gazebo. Let's go. Good morning fellow YouTubers, RV and adventure seekers and nomads from across the fruited plain and around the world. Matt, Nomadic Native back with you. Thanks for tuning in. So after the honeymoon on the Gazelle portable gazebo, I got some things I can tell you about it. We've owned it for a year. We bought it a year ago this month at the Winnebago Rally in Forest City, Iowa. Uh, why did we buy it? The intended use, okay. Our intended use was like you would expect. We do a lot of camping at Corps of Engineer campgrounds where there's a lake, there's always mosquitoes. We wanted to be able to set it up there at our campground and uh, sit in its shade and be protected from the bugs and that's how we thought we were going to be able to use it. We have gotten a lot of use out of it over the year but not our intended use and I'll explain in this video. Uh, the really great thing, I'm going to start with the good. The really great thing about the Gazelle portable gazebo is its quality of construction and materials have they've really surprised me being perfectly honest i did not think this thing was going to hold up the way it has especially uh in the way in the weather that we've had it set up in we've had it set up in very high winds down in florida we've had it set up in some pretty heavy rain we don't do snow and ice and all that but uh wind and rain yeah we've had this thing set up in it and uh, all of the stitching and everything has held together really well. We have no rips, no seams ripped out, no holes, no tears, and it still looks pretty good. All of the uh, cams are still tight. They still pop in and out just like they're supposed to. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, quality of construction and materials with the Gazelle Portable Gazebo. Now back to how we've gotten the most use out of it because this is where the bad comes in. And, in, you know, I've only got a couple of things on the negative side to say about this gazebo. And uh, this is the first one. The, um, uh, the most use that we've gotten out of the Gazelle Portable Gazebo is uh, when you're camped in a Class A for a, an extended period of time, what you find yourself doing is pulling stuff in and out of the basement, and hitting your head on the slide and, and all that, and uh, it's a real kind of a pain. So like down there in Florida, we had it set up outside the RV there and we found that uh, it was really nice to have a place to store stuff. And it keeps it kind of out of the rain and that type of thing. So that's the most use that we've gotten out of it, uh, is uh, having a place to put stuff and not have to drag it in and out of the basement or in and out of the RV. It's already out there and we just grab it and use it. Okay, now here's the problem with the Gazelle Portable Gazebo. You can sit inside this gazebo and you can watch the breeze blowing in the tree and in, in the trees outside and not feel that breeze. The, uh, the no seal mesh screen is really great at keeping the bugs out and it's so tiny and uh, you know no seal mesh that it prevents enough breeze blowing through the gazebo to move the heat buildup out, I guess is how I'd have to put it. So I think the uh, the two or three times that we've actually tried to use it the way I spoke of, sitting inside it at the lake or whatever, we've had to have the door open, the zipper done done, and a fan sitting out there blowing inside the gazebo just to make it comfortable in there. Now I'm certain there's a temperature that uh, you're gonna hit where that's not gonna matter. That you're gonna be able to sit inside this thing and be comfortable and you're not going to be worried about having a, a breeze moving the, the heat build up out. We haven't found that temperature, okay, um, we just haven't. So uh, yeah, the best use that we've gotten out of it because of that heat build up, okay, is using it as a place to store stuff and kind of keep it out of the rain so where you're not digging in the basement all the time. The second thing I want to tell you about the, uh, the, the negative thing that I want to tell you about the uh, Gazelle is what it comes with are stakes like this, okay, these little wire stakes. When we bought this uh, gazebo at the Winnebago rally last year, this month, 
uh, we saw one of them rolling. They had some high winds there at the rally. We saw one of them rolling across the rally grounds like a great big tumbleweed. And uh, I just imagine it's probably because they bought it there and they set it up and they used these uh, little wire stakes. Thanks for shaking the camera there, Tom. But they used these little wire stakes and they just pulled right out and that thing went rolling across the uh, rally grounds like a great big tumbleweed. It was kind of funny. Uh, what I did was uh, I went to the store and usually they have two different kinds. You can get these plastic, these hard, hard plastic ones and they work pretty well. But uh, I found these metal ones. Uh, I think they were like a dollar a piece and I bought a dozen of them and they work really well. And so... Uh, yeah, if you try to use these with it, uh, especially in the winds that we've had it set up in. We've had it set up down there in Florida. The winds were so strong that we had it set up in that uh, the side of the, the uh, gazebo that was getting hit by the wind, two of the cams collapsed. And after the uh, wind died down, I had to go back out there and pop them back open. So yeah, we've had it set up in some pretty high winds. And if we had tried to use this, it had been a great big tumbleweed. So... Um, yeah, that's what I did. I went and got these, and uh, they work great. Okay, so can I recommend the Gazelle Portable Gazebo? Well, here's how it is. If you were to come to me and you were just dead set on getting one of these gazebos, um, I would tell you about the heat buildup thing, uh, and I would tell you that you're going to need to get some new stakes. But sure, I could recommend it because, like I said, its uh, quality of construction of materials has been really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I could recommend the Gazelle. Would I buy it again myself, knowing what I know now? Well, when we was down there in, uh, in Florida, uh, we was uh, camping with uh, Ron and Julie from RJ's Adventures here on YouTube. Hi, guys. And um, they had one of the regular pop-ups, okay? Uh, didn't have the no mesh screen. And... You know, to be honest, we found ourselves sitting under it, uh, and I don't think we sat in that gazebo even once. So if, um, if I were in the market for something like this again, I probably would, knowing what I know now, I probably would not buy one of these gazebos. I would get one of those pop-ups. Um, we've even had a chance. Back, let me get back to that construction a little bit. Now that I've told you the bad about this gazebo, and that I wouldn't buy it again, uh, we've down there in Florida. Uh, Kenny and Sabrina from uh, Moving Forward came down for a while, and they had one of the clam pop-up gazebos, uh, the same size as our gazelle. And uh, I think we was doing um, Thanksgiving or something, and we had them both set up out there. So I've had a chance to compare it to other brands, even. And they looked very, very similar. So yeah, I could recommend the Gazelle. Um, I would probably tell you, you know, check the price. They look like, uh, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other kind of thing. Uh, I would probably go with price and uh, get the one that has the better price. So uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. The great thing is its quality of construction and materials bad thing gets kind of hot sitting inside there and uh, you're going to have to get some new stakes because these aren't going to do so uh, that's about it for this video guys uh, if you haven't subscribed we invite you to subscribe and follow along if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below thanks again for watching the video we'll see you soon